So Walter Scott, Melidia Sigourney. Magician of old Scotia's clime, was sweet, the powerful, the sublime, whose lyre could rule even wrinkled care and stir the reverie of despair, who shall its broken strings repair, who wake the lay so high resounding, the flesh of lance and war horse bounding, and bannered house with trumpet shrieking and battle theatre and carnage reeking, who touched with cadence, soft and clear, the minstrel song to lady's ear, while the young moonbeam faintly froze its silver light o'er fair melrose. The haughty marmion's fitful strife, the canvas ploughing into life, the gliding bark from hollowed shore, that Hilda's cloistered maiden's spore, the dungeon vault, the stifled veil, the sightless judge, the victim pale, King James amid the festive throng, the willy lady Yerian song, the martial field with stirring drum, the smoke crept hosts with rushing come, the full night's forsaken sigh, his rainless war steed sweeping by. The mighty strain, the palm of one from earthquake echoing marathon, and flaming Ilion's horrors yield to pictured Flodden's fatal field. This old Ellen's plaintive lay, but faithful harper, sad and grey. Hark! To black Roderick's boastful song, with roads with rosa glance along, and lo, a proud, unbending frame comes Douglas forth with Malcolm Graham, while she, by whose light footstep press the uncrushed hair by rears its breast with brow averted blushing, hears a father's praise to lover's ears. The spell is broke, the illusion fled, and he, whose wrong enchanting wand made the root mountains of his land, the tiny lake, the tangled dell, and outlaw's cave and hermit's cell, a classic haunt, a mecca shrine, to pilgrim throngs a Palestine, is with the dead, 